So my name is Leslie Gabriel from With Love and Gratitude. With Love and Gratitude is a nonprofit organization dedicated to education and service. Um, it's by the kindness of the Framingham Library that we're here. So thank you, Framingham Library, for sponsoring the event. Today, we're going to talk about self-love. I read an article in Psychology Today uh, that got me going. I started thinking about how self-critical we are, how what happens between our ears could be quite ugly, frankly. Um, we beat ourselves up over failures. We'll work too hard. <clears throat> we'll push ourselves. We don't take a moment to breathe. Of course, you're here, so good for you. Uh, many feel a need to compete or outperform or overachieve or just don't feel good enough. A lot of people live with shame. So new research suggests that self-compassion might be far superior to being self-critical. And you might've already thought about that, but let me go over some facts that they found. If you show self-compassion, it leads literally to increased strength. You start, stop working so hard and start working smarter, more efficiently. This attitude is linked to a greater sense of well-being and better performance. It leads to increased productivity. I found that really interesting. So your boss says self-compassion. When you're motivated by self-compassion, um, you understand failures might be painful, but they're also learnings. And where self-criticism leads to self-defeating emotions in the face of failure, compassion leads to embracing challenges. So it's a win-win, really. And self-compassion leads to decreased stress. So when you're really harsh on yourself, and I don't think we realize the internal dialogue that goes on, um, the sympathetic, the, your fight or flight nervous system goes bonkers. Your stresses, uh, hormones go way up. Cortisol is released into the bloodstream. It's just becoming a self-defeating system. And we can't learn from and engage with a kernel of tr truth that may serve us well because we're too busy having this fight or flight system take over. So today we're going to address that rather directly. Before we start our meditation, I want to talk about the mind wandering. So it's inevitable during meditation, your mind will roam. Don't judge it. Speaking of being kind to yourself, don't judge it. It's fine. It's, it's doing what it does. Um, so let it do what it does rather than trying to change it. You might notice sensations about things happening around you, or you just might get lost in thought, daydreaming about the past or the present, possibly judging yourself or others. There's nothing wrong with this. Okay, it doesn't feel that good, maybe. But you're judging it as being self-critical. Use self-compassion. Thinking's just as natural as breathing. When this happens, take a moment and notice what it is that you're thinking. It's simple. Notice it. Don't change it. Don't judge it. Notice it. Take a moment. Pause. You don't need to pull your attention back to your breath. Instead, just let go of whatever you were thinking about. Reopen your attention. Come back to my voice. You'll automatically return your awareness to your breath, being present for the meditation being present for inhalation and exhalation. Your breath can do the work for you. Just breathe. And you know what? Here we go. After a few breaths, your mind wanders again. Don't beat yourself up again. This is the way it goes, people. It's natural. What's important is how we respond when it happens. Not that it happens, but how you respond. You acknowledge it. You notice it, you acknowledge it, whatever you're thinking about, you don't ascribe judgment to it. Without letting it carry you away, you just take a moment and come back and you resume. 
over and over and over again. It isn't a matter of letting your mind go blank. It isn't a matter of never having your mind wander. It's a matter of accepting and allowing and understanding. It's natural for your mind to wander. You just notice and come back to your breath. It's so simple that most people don't do it. <laughs> okay. So we're going to do a little breath work that focuses on calmness. Place one hand on your belly and one hand on your chest. And just begin to feel the chest rise and fall. And begin to feel the belly rise and fall. Inhaling through your nose exhaling through your mouth. Continue with your natural breath, feeling the air enter through your nostrils and now exit through your nostrils. Just feel your breath. And on the next inhale, feel the belly rise, then the ribs expand, and finally the chest lift, coming to the top of the breath below the throat. On the exhale, the breath leaves the chest, the ribs fall, the belly contracts. Notice. This is called three-part breath. Continue with this breath, feeling all three parts of the breath, and think to yourself, belly, ribs, chest, chest, ribs, belly. Now begin to feel the breath as a wave coming up from the belly and rising to the top of the breath beneath the throat. Feel the breath as a wave coming up from the belly and rising to the top of the breath beneath the throat and hold for two counts. And let the breath wave go from the chest out the belly. Continue with this wave-like breath, holding for two seconds. Rolling it in and up and then counting to two and rolling out like the tide. Engage in the fluidity of the breath. Feel the complete cycle of the breath. Focus only on the breath. Feeling calmness in the breath. Finish with a final cycle of this breath. And after a complete exhale, Return to natural breath. Just feel ease and steadiness. Now make sure you're nice and comfortable as we enter a deeper state of relaxation and meditation. An opportunity to learn something about yourself and tune into your physical and emotional needs. In this meditation, we're going to let self-love enable you to build a stronger relationship with yourself so you can show up more fully today in your life. Now, completely settled, if you haven't already, close your eyes and notice your breath again. 
without trying to change it, just noticing. And noticing your physical being, if there's tension or relaxation, whatever there is, without trying to change that either, just bringing awareness to your breath and your body. Now we're going to inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth, taking gentle, deep, full breaths and exhaling completely. And as you breathe, become aware of the state of your body and the quality of your mind, just noticing without judgment and without changing, just noticing. Taking this moment to really listen to your body. To feel yourself inside. Here's some questions that might help you. Where is your body holding tension? Do you feel at all closed? Shut down emotionally? Or do you feel wide open? Where's your mind? Is it wandering or is it at home with your breath? And as you notice these things, are you allowing, judging, or changing? Is your mind filled with ease or filled with restlessness? Is there any negativity? How about doubt? Are you breathing freely? Now place both hands over your heart, continuing to inhale through the nose and exhale through your mouth. And ask yourself this question. How does it feel to place my hands over this tender area, this place where I experience love for self and for others? Notice what there is to notice. Are you still breathing freely? Let your breath become more smooth and more effortless by just letting go. Begin to breathe in and out through the nose again, feeling the flow of air moving into your lungs and then back out into the world. Notice what it's like to breathe through the nose, feeling the flow of air moving. Now, let's look at your thoughts. What are they right now? See them as though you're watching a movie. And with each exhale, imagine you're releasing any negativity or constricting thoughts or things you don't want that might be lingering around your mind. And notice. Are you breathing freely? Nice. Now, continuing to focus on your breath, on each inhale, think, I am worthy. I am enough. Let each inhale draw in self-love. And each exhale, release what is no longer serving you. 
take a minute to recite this mantra internally and notice how you feel as you say these words to yourself. Are you still breathing freely as you repeat the mantra, I am worthy, I am enough on the inhale, and letting go of whatever resistance might be there on the exhale? Let your breath become smooth and effortless. Breathe in and out through your nose and feel the flow of the air moving into your lungs and then back out into the world. And remember, if your mind wanders at any point, no, that's okay. It's the nature of the mind to wander. You simply, when you notice you're wandering, Bring attention back to the breath and let whatever happens, happen. Notice how your thoughts come and go, whether positive or negative, no matter. We simply allow them to pass like clouds floating in the sky. Now visualize yourself standing in front of a mirror and look into your eyes. What do you see? Judgment, pain and sadness, love and joy, neutrality, something else. See your thoughts as though they're up on this movie screen, just like you watch a movie. Are you breathing freely? Regardless of what appears in the reflection and what's happening in your mind, tell yourself, I love you. Regardless of what you see in the mirror or what you're thinking in your mind, tell yourself, I am worthy of happiness. Know that what you see in the mirror in this moment may be different from what you see the next time you look. With each exhale, imagine you release any negative or constricting thoughts that may be lingering in your mind. Now imagine that you could breathe right into your heart and visualize love pouring out of your hands and into your heart. Let this stream of love warm and permeate you from your heart center, filling the heart center and then expanding outward, filling the rest of your body. Feel the love vibrating outward. Feel a sense of comfort and calm traveling up through your chest into your neck and head, out your shoulders and arms and hands and each finger, and then into your ribs, down into your belly and your pelvis and your legs and your feet and breathe. Allowing the sensation of warmth to fill you from head 
to toe. Breathing. Once again, let this warm love, this radiating sensation of love to enter deep into your heart, breathe it in. And as it fills your heart center, feel it vibrating intensely, beginning to fill the rest of your body with love. As it does so, enjoy the feeling of comfort and calm that travels. Feel it go up into your chest, into your neck, filling your head. And now into your shoulders, down your arms, filling your hands, tingling in each finger. And then back to the heart center and the vibration of love as it trickles down into your ribs, fills your belly, goes over your pelvis and into your legs, into your feet, tingling in every toe. Take a deep breath in as you allow the sensation of warmth to fill you from head to toe. Just breathe and know that love is always available for you when you need it. You created this space. You are allowing this space. You deserve this. When you're ready, and only when you're ready, after taking a few more deep, mindful breaths, slowly and gently open your eyes. Just sitting for a few moments to acknowledge this experience. You can refer back to this practice whenever you need to to create a loving space for yourself. And as you slowly return to the Zoom room, I will give you a quote from Buddha. In the end, only three things matter. How much you loved, how gently you lived, and how gracefully you let go of the things not meant for you. So, it's been my honor to be here for this season. It ends today, but I'll be back in September. We give gratitude to the Framingham Library for having us and obviously for all of you joining me. I hope you have a marvelous day and a healthy, happy summer. I'll see you in the fall. Thank you, everybody. Stay well and be kind to yourself. Thank, Thank you. you, Leslie. Thank Bye. you, Leslie. Be well. well. We'll miss you. Oh, thank you. How sweet. Thank you, everybody. Thank Bye. you, Leslie. Thank you, everyone, for coming today. Thank you. We'll Leslie. see you again in September. See you in September.